Hello and welcome again to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can deploy a React app on AWS S3 using CloudFront, ACM, which is AWS Certificate Manager, and Route 53. So we will be going to configure all these things and we can successfully deploy application on S3. So I will make sure you get it done easily and successfully. So let's get started. No, first we have to understand how this uh, whole architecture work when we deploy and set up application on S3 using Route 53, CloudFront. So first of all, the user will come and they will, you know, uh, the request will come to the Route 53 and the Route 53 will send to the CloudFront, okay? And the, because it's a, uh, a content delivery network, okay, it will send, uh, handle the best nearest server location so the traffic will be routed to this. It will also check ACM SSL certificate manager will be also interacted, okay, during the request. And then it, the CloudFront will send the request, will fetch the resources from S3 to display the user so it's very simple flow uh, it's not complex so how this you know uh, the flow will work you can easily understand it now let's dive into uh, you know how we can do it hands-on and we can successfully deploy our application so first of all you must have an AWS account okay so when you have AWS account you can just log into your account and then you have to search in the console which is s3 so you will just type S3, click on S3, and here you will see a button create a bucket. So just click on create a bucket. And then you have to write the bucket name. You can write any name. So I will just write the name of my domain that I will be going to use, but you can give any name. So just uh, create this bucket. Don't make any changes. When the bucket is created, now we will just uh, go to this detail of the bucket. And first of all, we have to go to the properties. In the properties, we have to go to, which is static website hosting. So you have to click on here and we have to enable it. Just click on enable, okay. And you have to tell what will be the your uh, default page. So it will be index dot html. Okay, and then we have to just you know save the changes. So these changes are saved. Next we have to go to the permissions. And in the permissions, so currently what we will do, we will just, uh, you know, unblock this initially, this access, and we will attach a policy and then we will see how we can directly access this application just, you know, a setting up on S3. You can enable it, save changes, and just confirm it. Next, on the permission tab we will have the bucket policy so we have to you know add the bucket policy which is very simple i will just uh, paste a bucket policy here the content of this bucket policy is also available in this video description so you can get it easily so i will just save it before i save i will just make sure the name of the bucket is correct so what is my bucket name my bucket name is dove start shop so this is my bucket name you need to make sure your bucket name is correct so just save changes so we are almost done with our settings now what i have to do I will just go to my bucket objects page and here I will click on upload. On the upload, what I have to do, I have to upload uh, the files and the, you know, the build files of my React project. So I will just go my into my VS code. 
So in this VX code, you can see this is my React project. So in this React project, I have to create my build. So what I will do, I will just run npm run build. So you must have this uh, React project. Uh, you can clone this React project from my GitHub uh, profile. The link is available in this video description. So I will just create a build. When the build is created, what do you have to do? You have to, you can see this build. So these are the content of the build we have to upload on S3. So I will just go to my S3 bucket. And here, first of all, I will just upload the files. So if I just go to the build, okay. First, I will just upload the files. Then I will also upload the static folder as well. Upload. And then just, you know, click on upload. Okay, done. Files are being successfully, you know, uploaded. Now we have to go to the properties page here and we have to just copy the link and we can see our application is live here it is i will just click on this link and here i can see my application you can see which is you know deployed but no what we have to do next we have to use a cloud friend we have to use proper domain and a ssl certificate for this what i will do i will just go to my you know AWS okay so here I have to search route 53 make sure you open in a new tab to manage it properly otherwise you will get mixed up so just open in a new tab route 53 we have to you know click on get started you have to click on create a hosted zone because my domain is on GoDaddy so what I will be going to do I will just do one thing I will just you know update the name servers so if you have a domain on any cloud provider you can just create a hosted zone and I will show you how you can you know connect you know host your domain on route 53 so get started and here you have to enter the domain name okay just you know uh, create hosted zone so when the hosted zone is created what do you have to do here you have to simply do one thing you can see these are the records these are the name servers record you have to update on your domain provider so i have my on godaddy so on the godaddy i will just go to my domain which is on my products manage I have to just go to the manage my domain just click on manage dns so here you have to click on name servers just click on change name servers i will use my own so you have to one by one you have to copy all these uh, four name servers and you have to add it so i'll just copy the first one then I will copy the second one. Then I will copy the third one. And the last one we have to copy. Okay. So now we can try to save it. Okay, oh, we have to remove the dot which is at the end, which is not required. So now you can save it. Continue. Okay, so request is in progress. Normally it takes 15 minutes, but it can take one hour as well. So you have, you will need to just wait. Okay, so meanwhile, we are going to do other things. I will just go and Next thing is, you know, we have to create a certificate. I have to go to the ACM. To create a certificate, so I will just go to the certificate manager. I will open in a new tab. 
here I will create you know I will request a certificate okay so just click next and here you have to write your domain name my domain name is top start shop you can write your domain name and another certificate for this one okay so now I have to just click on next so so we have to request it certificate request is pending so how we have to validate this you know uh, verification just click on the certificate and create a record in route 53 as we have already created route 53 for our domain so both the records are added if you will go and you can just refresh and if i go to the hosted zone and you can see here this is my domain okay and certificates records are also added here so next we have to create a cloud front distribution so our website can be served through a uh, cloud front which is a content delivery network uh, used so i have to just search cloud front open in a new tab and here you have to create a cloud front distribution you have to check your s3 bucket this is my bucket okay so use website endpoint okay http that's fine and now you have to just redirect http to https okay and then don't change any other thing that's fine caches we need it's optimized all good you can go with waf or you can enable disable uh, security productions so i'll just disable this security productions and here you can see i will go with the use all at locations which is good and here i will add my domain mm, which is this one also another racket so website can serve on ww and this one as well so all good next we have to choose the certificate the certificate which i have created so just make sure you will be able to see the certificate if it's issued so sometime it can take 30 minutes sometime it takes 60 seconds depends upon how much time your domain is taking from godaddy or somewhere when you migrate it to um, as a hosted zone on raw 53 so it's issued so I, i'm able to know add it here which is fine now i will just click on create distribution so distribution is now in deploying mode distribution creation normally take uh three minutes which is 180 seconds so you have to wait for it meanwhile what we have to do we have to go to uh route 53 and here we have to create racket we have to add our cloud front rackets to our route 53 so i will add two racket one will be with w and i will say alias and you have cloud front so we have to choose the distribution that we have created and then i will also add another racket as well which will be the simple the domain app. and then i have to choose the cloud front and i have to choose the distribution then i have to add another racket no two rackets are enough so we have to know save so all everything related to the route 53 is okay and done also the certificate so we have to just know wait for our yeah it is also deployed so you have to just copy it and you can check it so application is available and this will be also available on our domain so we can check on the domain as well so the domain name should be
okay you can see so my application is fully secure okay the connection is secure because we have the certificate and everything is okay so that's easy to configure and deploy application on s3 using cloudfront and acm and route 53 so i hope you like this video and is you know help you to get it done in case if you have any issue any problem you got during the deployment you can ask me in the comments i will be reply i will be replying you as well you can reach out to me at linkedin if you need something more okay thank you for watching the video i will see you in my other video